welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing with you a home decor haul. I thought it'd be a little different. I don't do these too often, but I kind of have been getting a lot of stuff for a couple of different projects and I thought, why not share them with you all? So I told you before, if you watched my cleaning video, that we are going to have some future house projects going on. So I got a few things for one in particular you'll see but we do have in the next coming months um we have a wedding we're planning my daughter's getting married soon and so that is taking all our time really all our focus we're doing a big wedding shower and then we're doing a wedding and until all of that is over with i'm not going to commit to any house projects but when that's over with hopefully in the next few months we will be starting and hopefully finishing some sort of like room makeovers. I will be doing a dining room makeover, which is gonna be really fun. I have a few ideas. It's gonna ch change the look of my dining room. And it's something that's definitely needed that I've been needing to do for a while. And I'm down here in my basement and my heater is cutting off and on. So I apologize for the background noise, but um, this is my beautiful oil tank that I've had so many people uh, give me ideas about what I could do with it haven't decided what I'm going to do. So that's one other thing that I'll be doing. Jackson's bedroom is also right above this. So he's in there and you'll hear the, yeah. But anyways, it is what it is. This is my basement craft room. And I thought this would be a great place to do my sit down videos. The lighting is a little better in here than upstairs. So anyways, I am also going to be doing not only my dining room, we're going to be redoing Jackson's room. As you guys know, as I mentioned before, we're going to be doing a lot in there. I'm going to be doing some kind of a makeover, mini makeover in my bedroom. Not exactly sure everything that I'm going to be doing, but definitely need to refresh it. We're going to take up the carpet and put some flooring down and paint the walls and we'll see what else. But I also am going to be doing a pantry makeover. That is something that is definitely needed. And I uh, redid my pantry several years ago when I first started my YouTube channel. Mary and actually um, ripped out the shelves and rebuilt them and but I need to do like some organization like it's bad so that's another one so I'm not sure exactly what order probably the pantry and Jackson's room are going to be the first ones that we do but I wanted to just share with you some of the things that I picked up because I'm excited it definitely makes me want to start now but like I said with the wedding planning there's just too much going on I don't want to bite off more than I can chew you know so let me get started and I'll show you what I got. Okay, I'm going to start with a few things that are not for Jackson's room, but I'm going to probably save all that till the end. So first of all, I had a really sweet subscriber send me a package the other day, and I thought I'd share them in this uh, home decor haul because they are home decor. It's these cute little uh, garden flags. It's still in the package, but it says Happy St. Patrick's Day, and it's this black and green truck. You know, I love the truck, and I love buffalo plaid. And then also... A little Valentine one, a red and white, a red and black, and it says XOXO. Those are so adorable. Sorry, they're so crinkly. I do need to put the green one out now that it's almost St. Patrick's Day. So thank you so much for sending those to me. I absolutely love them. They're totally my style. Love them. So another thing, um, in my bathroom, I have like gray bath mats, and they were just kind of getting old, and I had um, some reply. I had like two sets. And one of them was just kind of old and dingy. I'm ready to just give it to Goodwill. And then the other one, I washed it and it got a big old hole right in the center of the big mat. So I was on the lookout for some new ones. And my bathroom is just gray and white. So I kind of wanted to add some color to it. So I was really excited when I found these at Ross. I've already taken the tags off and washed them. But I believe the small one was $4.99 or $5.99. And the big one, I think, was $7.99. Super inexpensive. But they match and one is bigger and one is smaller this is the little one that will go um in front of the sink and then the bigger one goes in front of the uh tub and i wasn't sure if they looked maybe like too old-fashioned or something but i said madison are these cute and she said oh my gosh they're so cute i would totally buy those so if my 20 year old thinks they're cute then i'll take her word for it so <laughs> but i love this color you know that's my color my favorite so that with the gray and the white um yeah i think it'll be beautiful in my bathroom so also when i was at ross i was looking just like through the spring and, and uh easter things just i really don't need to buy new stuff every year but these were too beautiful not to buy and they were 4.99 for two and so i grabbed them so it's these hand towels how beautiful are these i just think they are the most beautiful they're both the same two of them but i'll hang them over my uh 
sink, I mean not sink, yeah, maybe under my sink um, on the cabinet there and then over on my stove. They're beautiful for Easter, for spring, love them. I just love florals. And I will link everything that I can down in the description box. I won't be able to link everything in these these I actually already took the tags off of, but if I'm able to link these and anything else, so check the description box if you're interested in any of these things to purchase for yourself. So in uh, my last video, I was talking about, I bought some new pillow covers for my pillows on the couch. So for years I've had gray and gray and white Buffalo check on my big pillows. And then I've had these blue pillows that were, that are like this color that I got at Walmart and I've washed them and um, I decided to change them up a little bit. So I took off the Buffalo plaid and they really just were old and needed to go. And so I went on Amazon and I was trying to find some more pillow covers that I don't know, were updated. I wanted to change it up a little bit, but you know, I love my gray and blue. Like I always <laughs> go to the same colors. So, but the, um, three pillows on the couch, I wanted them all to match right now. I had two that matched and then one was different. So I found this like velvety corduroy gray with these little fringe fringes on the end. And I just thought that was so adorable and they are so soft. So I bought three of the, actually bought four cause it came in packs of two. So I had to buy two, two packs to get the three, but it's so cute. It's a 20 by 20 and it's so soft. So that's going to be like the big pillow. And then in front of them, I have the blue pillow, but I'm going to cover the blue pillows with, cause you know, I can't not have Buffalo. plaid. <laughs> I'm going to cover the blue pillows with these blue and white Buffalo plaid, uh, pillowcases. So it'll kind of be the opposite of what it was before. It was the Buffalo check and then the blue. But I, um, now that I have these on the smaller ones, I'll be able to like switch them out. Like in the fall, I'll put maybe orange buffalo plaid. And then at Christmas, I could do red or green and Valentine's. So these are very springy, I think. These will be my everyday, but they're also very springy. So it's perfect for Easter and spring right now. But this is my color. So I think they're adorable. These were, uh, I can't remember the price. These I think were $16.99 for two. And these were less than that. I'm, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe $12.99. Very inexpensive, these pillowcases. I was actually looking for pillows everywhere. And, you know, they're $20, $30 for one pillow. And then I just did what I should have done at the beginning and went on Amazon. So I will link all of these down below. So then I went to Hobby Lobby yesterday and I spent way too much time in there looking at everything. And then I actually went back today for like uh, another half hour. I think I was there like almost two hours yesterday, but I haven't done that in so long, just browsing through everything. And it was so nice. It was just, I just took my time, looked at all the new stuff. It's been a long time since I've gone through. So I did find a couple little things. I did buy a lot of stuff for Jackson's room, which I'll show you in a minute. And I bought stuff for the wedding, but I did grab a few things for me. So if you, um, I have noticed in my kitchen window, I have these little glass, green glass jars I got from the Target dollar spot and they are just the cutest, most beautiful shade of blue green. And I love them in my window and I kept thinking I was gonna put little flowers in them for spring. And so I finally found the perfect little flowers. Um, I got these at Hobby Lobby, they were half off. They were originally $6.99, they were half off. And I could just cut them and put them in those little jars. So adorable, they're just so dainty and Perfect for spring. And then in their spring collection, I have like a couple pictures and one's on my, in my living room and one's in my kitchen, but I always want more pictures because I'm a sucker for a picture with greenery in it. It's my favorite and I have two white ones. And when I saw this, I actually saw this in a bowl at Hobby Lobby and I put it in my cart and I knew I wanted it because it's beautiful, but then I found the picture that matched and I actually would rather have the picture. So I ended up buying the picture and Spring right now is 40% off. So this was $20 and I got 40% um, off. So it's like 12 bucks. And it's like, it reminds me of like Robin's Egg Blue with the little speckles. It's kind of like, you know, rusted and the paint is peeling, but that's what makes it so pretty. And, um, you know, that's my color. And I'm going to put this probably, probably on my table or in my kitchen. I don't know. I'm going to want to put it everywhere, but I'm going to put some greenery in it. And isn't that going to be beautiful for the spring? Like probably on my kitchen or dining table, but they have like a whole, whole collection. They have, I believe smaller, they have smaller like pots. And then they have like round pots that are short and just a bunch. So if you like this, I'll link this down below, but go to Hobby Lobby if you like it, because they have a whole collection of them. 
And then I also got this for me. This was a spring shot, so it was $19.99, but at 40% off, it was only $12. And it's definitely different than I think I normally would buy, but I just thought it was beautiful. One of you guys told me one time in my comments that I needed to get like a tray for my table to put like my napkin holder and my flowers and all that in. So I took your advice. I have a, I, my dining table is a rectangle and this is a circle, but I thought it was so beautiful and I hope you guys think it is too. I will link it down below as well, but it's this beautiful tray with the black and white. I don't know why, but I just thought that was so beautiful. And then um, with maybe this, with some greenery and my napkins, this is just beautiful. It's beautiful and I had to have it. So that is my only things I've bought for spring aside from the hand towels, which I think are beautiful. Now I'm gonna show you what I got for Jackson's room. Okay, so I've, I've been shopping for a little while looking at different stores. Um, I kind of had like an idea of what I wanted his room to look like. He's 12. He'll be 13 this year. I want something that's going to grow with him and he's definitely very quickly changing and growing up. He's just at that age where everything is changing. <laughs> his voice is changing. It's just so strange, but he, um, I want, I want him to love his room and I also want it to be something that you know, a couple years from now, he still loves and he's not going to be like, this is way too babyish, you know, even though I'd love to do the dinosaurs and all that. He's too old for that. So I was trying to, you know, go through Hobby Lobby. They have different sections like, you know, camping and dinosaurs and lake and the beach and the movies and cars. And he doesn't really, he doesn't really have like a thing he's into, but he loves video games. And so I was able to find a few things that I knew he would love. But I went ahead and just went with things that I thought were pretty much uh, he could grow up with, you know, and they wouldn't be, he wouldn't, you know, hate them. <laughs> he wouldn't be like, um, that's way too babyish. So the first thing I bought was a new comforter for him. He has a twin bed and I wanted to get something that I loved because he isn't really going to care. And he has a plaid one that's been, he's had for years, probably like eight years since we bought that. And so I needed a new one. So I went on Amazon and I picked up, I picked out a navy and white buffalo check, big surprise, because I think it's beautiful and timeless. And I like, I don't think that's something that he would outgrow. And so I'll link this down below. It's the, it's called Soul and Lane. This is the twin. I want to say I paid like 30 to $40 for this and it comes with a pillowcase. And so, um, I went ahead and got the navy, but all the decorations I've found have been black. So kind of wish I'd got the black, but I liked the navy. I don't know. I just thought it was better than just black and white. And so that is his comforter. So then I went over to TJ Maxx. I was looking for a lamp. We have a, we got a nightstand for him that we actually got. My niece got it. Someone was throwing it away and she grabbed it and it is beautiful. It's solid wood. Beautiful. So I'm going to paint it to match his dresser. And he's going to actually have a nightstand, which he doesn't have now. And so I wanted to get him a new lamp. He has one that's falling apart. So I picked this up yesterday at TJ Maxx. It's called J Hunt and Company. J Hunt and Company it was only $19.99 for the lamp and the shade. And I think it's really cool. I think it's very, uh, I don't know, modern shape. I think it's something that a boy would like, a teenage boy. I had two people telling me on the way out that they loved it. So, and it was the only one they had that was black. They had some gold ones too, gold and silver maybe, but it was the only black one. So I really loved that. That's going to look cool in his room. Anyways, I love this lamp. Okay, so I probably went a little overboard with the pictures for his walls, but I wasn't really sure. I was kind of struggling, like I said, to find like what he would really like. And he does love cats and he loves like lions. And he loves video games. He does love fishing, but I didn't really want to decorate his room with fishing. I didn't think he was really going to be into that for, you know, as far as decorating his room. So I went to Hobby Lobby and I had seen these video game pictures. And I thought they were really cute. And I wanted to wait till they were half off. All of these I paid, I got 50% off, but they're really cute. I got three of them. I thought that they'd be, um, they'd look nice like above his uh, TV screen or, you know, his computer desk that he got for Christmas. So this one is keep calm and game on. Of course, he had to tell me, you know, which controller they were and all that. But there's that one. They all are the same black frames. This one says, don't hate the player, hate the game with a Nintendo controller. And then gaming mode activated with a, an old joystick. So those will be really cute, just like lined up, you know, uh, on top of his 
like video game station. I didn't want the whole room to be video games, but I liked those. And those, like I said, they were $13.99, but half off of that. Then I got him, this was $11.99, half off, and then half off of that. Um, so it actually goes like that, I think. Yeah, it's these arrows. Very cool. I forget which section I got this out of, but I was kind of wanting to do like a I don't know, traveling theme, world travel, I don't know, something like that. And so I just thought this was really neat. And I think that's something that, um, you know, he'll grow with. That's definitely doesn't look like too young for him, you know. And then this picture kind of goes with the same theme. I love it. I saw it before it was on sale and I waited to get it till it was on sale. And it is it was $27.99, but I paid half. And I love it because it's wood and it's metal and it has black. And I just think it's very cool. I think it looks like a boy's room and I want to bring in some more wood tones into his room I got to figure that out but that will definitely bring in some of the wood tones it's beautiful and then the last thing I got for him like I said he loves lions cats so I thought this was cute this one was $17.99 um and then I paid half off of that but it's very cute it's very um just fun you know <laughs> And the Bible describes Jesus as the lion, um, as a lion, as the lion of the tribe of Judah. And so I always think of Jesus when I see pictures of lions. And this is just a fun one uh, with the glasses. He has a big pillow that he got at Ikea with a lion's face. So that's really cute. I might put this above like his nightstand where his lamp is. And anyway, I like the black on it. I think that's something he'll like for a long time too. So. But anyways, that is it for this home decor haul. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you will check out the description box if you're interested in any of it. Hobby Lobby is just full of so much new stuff, so much fun stuff. If you're looking to decorate a room, like you just, you're going to find something there that you love. Elena's getting married and she's going to be redoing her, you know, their first apartment. And so she's excited to go through and pick out what she wants for her style. And it's just so fun. So I got to quit going to Hobby Lobby. Though. I think I'm good for a while. I definitely am going to be doing my spring decor coming up very soon. And the wedding is coming up and all that stuff. And then I will be jumping into some home projects. So make sure that you are subscribed if you haven't subscribed already. I would love it if you did. I would love for you to join my little YouTube family and maybe get some motivation or some inspiration. I love to do, I love a project. I love to have something going on. And uh, when it's done, that's what I love the most is when it's done. So <laughs> I hope that uh, it motivates you and makes you, you know, gets you excited about your own space and, you know, fixing it up. You can, you don't have to do it in it expensively. You can do things on a budget, do a little DIY, put a little uh, elbow grease into it and you can fix any space up. But anyways, I thank you guys so much for watching. You know I love you. I am praying for you. And I appreciate every single one of your views and your likes and your shares and all that. You guys are the best. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.